What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the top 5 performance performances from New Zealand Super Rugby campaign. And man, what a weekend. The Hurricanes and the Crusaders picking up brilliant wins that were much needed. Obviously the Blues and the Crusaders much talk who's going to win top of the tables. Crusaders showed why they are the best team in world rugby at this point of time. From a provincial level, they were outstanding. Hurricanes picking up a solid win over the Highlanders as well. And um, exciting stuff we witnessed. But for me, of all the five, standout performance for me was Richie Mwanga from the Crusaders. He was a gem. He really was remarkable in every aspect. He controlled the game. He took kick and he was a uh, defining point of changing that game when it started to favour the Crusaders. That restart where he just did that tap, just past that, that middle line to get it in, pick it up, go for a run. And that's when the momentum started and the Crusaders looked brilliant. If he wasn't there, I don't know, we might have seen a different result. He stood out, top player of the weekend. But let's not forget the other teams. Gani Lampe from the Hurricanes, he was quite outstanding. Um, for for them in that that brilliant blockbusting best, I think he was um, really looking sharp and, and showed the strength that he could do, um, playing to his own strengths, running eighty eight meters, nine defenders beaten, four clean breaks to show a few in New Zealand. It just shows what he could do, which is brilliant. And um, credit to him, I thought he was outstanding. Aaron Smith, Highlanders, he started to really come back, and even though it wasn't the greatest, he really showed up and showed. That they, the improvements of the Highlanders, how far they've come to, from where they were at the start of this year and really leading from the front, which I was quite um, impressed with. Um, his defence was on point, um, which was great. He fronted up the Highlanders when they needed him the most, making 10 tackles, 10 tackles, stealing three turnovers, uh, the most of any player over the weekend. Absolutely outstanding. We saw it in the first game. He shone a bit quiet. And then he came back, and I'm glad to see him back. He really looked sharp, and hopefully can continue this going forward. Um, so for Amua, he also got uh, one of the top for me. Um, you know, Coles and uh, and Cody Taylor remain the benchmark for every number two. This boykey really stood up, um, and being stuck behind a guy like Dane Coles on a regular basis is very tough, and it's very um, intimidating in, in a way because you know. Will I ever get an opportunity? And he really stood up. Um, and obviously with the injury of Dan Coles, he took on that opportunity and got through the defenders. He was brilliant. Uh, getting that clean break, completed all seven of his line-out throws on his own side. Absolutely remarkable. A good performance from a guy who really needs to put his hand up because you've got Cody Taylor, Dan Cole, fighting for number two. Then you've got your backup. As a third choice you really got to shine and when players are injured no better opportunity than that and he really shone well done to him and then last but not least my buddy i love this kid tj paranora um obviously we spoke about aaron smith being brilliant but for me pj uh, paranora was just outstanding chirpy scrum off Absolutely brilliant. He carried the ball 14 times to run for 33 metres, making three clean, uh, clean breaks and beating two defenders at the same time. Best peak of work came in the 28th minute, where he had a play to close opposition. Try line saw tw the 28-year-old dummy and sidestep Smith to canter through the gaping hole, which was absolutely amazing. So I I'm happy to see TJ Perinara really shine. If you've been with me for a while, you know I'm a big fan of Tisha Perinara. Loads of respect for obviously Aaron Smith and it's good to see the two senior New Zealand scrum halves really shining and taking on the opportunity moving forward um, and I'm happy to, to, to see them here as well. So hopefully they can continue and go from strength to strength. TJ Perinara will be the boost from that one. Aaron Smith will need to take on leadership to, to really reboost his team after the loss this past weekend. But anything's possible. I would rather have those two guys at the helm to lead, us, to lead them through in these times where it's a loss or a win. And um, good to see these guys fighting for the position and showing why they're still just as important to any All Black team than the others. I mean, they're just outstanding. And the fact that these two can shine and really stand apart 
when you're fighting for the same position, it, it's just remarkable. So credit to the scrum halves. But for me, overall, Richie Mwanga, take a bow. You were a king, my friend. And um, that's coming from a guy, South African, who supports the Blues. Take my hat off to you, sir. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Subscribe to his channel for more rugby content. You won't regret it. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.